Hi, I'm Father Chris Alar, and welcome to Ask a Marian. You know, several people have written to us with basically the same question. Father, there is someone I just cannot forgive no matter how hard I try. They've hurt me badly, and God knows this. So how serious a sin is this? Well, personally, there is only one sin that I hear in the confessional that I actually stop the confession to discuss with the penitent. And that is when the person says they cannot forgive someone. You know, forgiveness is one of the most serious sins because God can't forgive us if we don't forgive others. How do we know that? It says so in scripture and even in the Our Father prayer. Remember, the measure by which we measure will be measured out to us. But you know, forgiveness may not be as difficult as you may think. I often hear, I can't be friends with them anymore. Well, okay, but actually forgiveness doesn't require reconciliation. After someone has hurt you, you don't necessarily have to remain their best friend. You know, when I owned uh, my business in North Carolina, I once had an employee steal $2,000 from me. Now, am I required to forgive this person? Yes, of course. But did I still have to allow them to manage my finance department and go out to dinner with them? No, I fired them. <laughs> so a serious problem does need to be addressed. And if it isn't, it's really license or false mercy. Uh, okay, what about this one? As Christians, we are all required to forgive and forget. Hmm, actually, this isn't true. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting what happened. We don't have to pretend we aren't hurt. This isn't forgiveness, this is lying. The human mind is amazing, but it doesn't have the ability to forget it will. Forgiveness is not denying the reality of our pain. It's, uh, what is it that I guess you could say? What is forgiveness, Father? It is letting go and not wishing ill upon the other person. It's not wishing them harm. It's not wishing them misfortune, even after you go your own separate ways. Now, before going your separate ways, you may choose to address the problem or not. That's up to you. But if you do, it has to be done in love. Now, I always hear people say, I can't do that. My emotions won't let me. Well, let me tell you a quick story about my own sister who I've mentioned in a few homilies. A while ago, after 24 years of marriage, her world was basically shattered when her husband left her unexpectedly for another woman. The person that she loved the most in, in the whole world was suddenly gone. Well, one day, my ex-brother-in-law was with this woman in a car and they approached a railroad crossing. Um, continuing an argument that they had been having since the morning, she, without any warning, dashed from the car and lunged in front of the train, killing herself instantly. This was the same woman who caused the end of my sister's marriage. So in earthly terms, my sister seemed to have every right to hate her, to not forgive her, or even be happy she was gone. However, I was stunned to later learn that my sister has been praying for this woman ever since she died. When I asked her how she does it, you know, how she can get past the emotion of anger and even hate, my sister said this, she is still somebody's daughter. All I know is that she committed adultery and then took her life. So she is really gonna need prayer. Her soul is in jeopardy of hell and we should never ever wish that upon anyone, no matter who they are. And I don't want to end up there myself because I harbored hatred for her and refused to forgive her. So I figured if I could forgive her, being the person she hurt the most, then God would certainly have to forgive her. Wow, those words from my sister, amazing. Here I'm the priest in the family, and I'm learning from my sister what it means to be a true Christian. You see, love is not just an emotion. It's an act of the will. Emotions go up and down like a seismograph. So if love was only an emotion, no marriage would last. Instead, love is an act of the will. I choose to love you no matter what. You know, do you think that any 
For example, any parent feels like getting up at two in the morning to change a dirty diaper. No, they do it because they make an act of the will to love that child, even when they don't feel like getting up to do it. Okay, so if you can't force yourself to actively love someone, at least wish them no harm. Yes, this takes a lot of grace. So, have you asked God for that grace? Have you asked him for the grace to forgive this person you're struggling with? We must do this or our society can't function. Forgiveness is needed on the natural level, no matter what religion you are, or our world can't exist because if it was only about revenge, we would all be in trouble. So we need to love like Christ. And Faustina said we most resemble Jesus when we forgive. So no matter how much someone has hurt us or owes us, we have hurt God more and owe God more. Trust me, unforgiveness hurts you more than it hurts them. In the end, it can even keep you from heaven and nobody is worth being that mad over. So please, if you do nothing else, forgive in your heart and you might be surprised how much better you feel when you do. Thank you for these great questions and may Almighty God give you that grace to forgive and may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.